talk to me about um, just some some things that people might not know about government contracting and procurement contracting in general. Um, you know, that just might be a little bit surprising to people. Well, they may not know where to look for the jobs, right? Yeah. They may not know to look on what websites to look on. And that's where you know, we talked about the Procurement uh, Technical Assistance Corporation. If you sit down with them, they'll show you, okay, these are the sites you need to go on to, whether it's SAM or GSA, uh, you know, where you can find, where they'll list out what projects. And you and and by doing that, by by looking at what types of of um, of services are being requested or products, um, you'll start to get a better understanding of of what they purchase. Like as Eric said, the more you do it, the more you learn, the better you get at it. Because I can remember looking looking at uh, at um, I think I was actually looking at the joint base, and I was looking at okay, what what's the military looking for? Well, you know, they're they're looking for, you know, for catering, excuse me, and they're looking for um office supplies. And they were looking for um a chaplain. Right? That's, that's in the list. They're looking yeah. for a chaplain. Okay, well, that's not something that we have, but it, you know, and it started to make me realize that wait, wait a second, they they buy all types of, of things. They use all types of and that's one of the reasons why they're the largest purchaser in, in the United in the United States because they do get in if you think about all the different agencies there are and and again the municipalities and and the counties and the states and the federal government I mean it's you know that that's also an exciting reason to do business with the government because yeah. you know you can you can you can really expand your business Based on that, I mean that—that's what you know. The, the business that I work with, that's what we did. We were like, well, they're not just buying, um, you know, the documentaries, but they need the photography. Then we got into public outreach because now they <laughs> wanted to, you know, now they're building a bridge and they have um, the towns, you know, local restaurants and the towns. They're having a fit because they're going to disrupt their business. Well, we went in with. Um, a video that we put together to show exactly what was being built, how it was being built, how it wasn't going to affect the surrounding area. And I'm standing next to the head of the Department of Transportation. We're standing there. Of course, you know, I'm 5'5". Five, five. He was about 6'3", so it was a little awkward. But um, so we're, we're sitting there and standing there and he's looking. He goes, my, he says, he he thought he was they were going to come in with pitchforks and people came in they sat down they watched the video they got up and he left he goes we're going to do this a lot more and that oh really put us in the business that was really our first public outreach job yeah. and from there we said hey we think we think we got a business here and then you know you have to again now you have to find public outreach people and it becomes a whole new thing but it was an exciting part of it because, and that's what, that's what people, that's the exciting part of doing business with the government. Talk to me about um, just some, some things that people might not know about government contracting and procurement contracting in general, um, you know, that just might be a little bit surprising to people. So it's, and, and this, this dovetails off of um, exactly what uh, Bob just mentioned is the government's the biggest buyers of everything from, from the state, you know, from the town all the way to federal government. So here's some of the things that they buy besides looking for chaplains. Okay. Costume jewelry. It's in there. I've seen stuff for celebrations where they need beads. I've seen bids for fireworks. Okay. I've seen bids for public art. I've seen bids for caricatures for celebrations and events. Um, you know, catering is a big one, right? Not just having to feed a lunchroom, but here's an event. There's catering for an event. So people can think like, oh, maybe I'm not right for this or I'm not any good at this. But yes, guess what? They do need makeup artists because why? They make commercials, okay? Um, so, you know, they, they speak on camera. So there's, you can 
pretty much find I probably I'm not going to say 100 percent of the goods out there, but I'm going to push a 90 percentile mark that goods and services out there that anybody thinks they have. They, there's probably a bid somewhere out there for that, meaning that there's a need and it's usually not a one off because that's the other thing that um, we have to remember and keep in mind that there's a recurring thing happening with every bid. Pretty much if it's plastic forks and knives for a five-year contract, when that five-year contract ends, guess what they're putting that out to bid again? Plastic forks and knives. When that marketing contract for tourism ends for that year, that state, that economic development authority is already, before it even ends, is putting out the bid for the next one, right? Because they're going to change them. They're going to change it. So it's the, that's the nice thing is once you're in piped in, what people don't realize, none of this is one off. And it's not just about that one time contract. This is all recurring, always, especially with its perishable stuff and anything, really. I mean, whatever you think of, you said mentioned accountant, accountants, their contracts end. They're putting up for bids for more accountants. Um, so it really almost doesn't matter what field you're in, um, what business you are. You can make, you know, I'm pretty sure there's underwater basket weaving somewhere. You know, <laughs> somebody sure. wants underwater, you know, woven baskets. I'm pretty sure there's got to be something out there. But I can tell you this, there's bids out there and I've seen them for wicker baskets. Okay, so um, nothing is really off limits. And um to, to layer that, that's just talking about being the prime contractor. If you make the bolt that matches a nut that the prime contractor sells, you can be the subcontractor that makes the bolt. So we have the whole subcontracting game. So again, you know, what's something surprising? I'm pretty sure we can find a bid for entertainment, clown entertainment, balloon animals. I've seen them. So nothing is off limits. And that's the beauty of, of, of government contracting. So if you feel like what's the wow, what's the why, the surprise, holy cow, you know, I make wigs, I can bid.